I never understood why kids my age are excited for Santa Claus. To be honest, he scares me. I mean the song Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Is that not creepy to you? How is he watching me? Better yet, why is he watching me? Is he watching me when I use the bathroom or when I take a shower? Is he over my bed when I sleep? On top of that, he demands cookies. I get he leaves us presents for free, but we are literally rewarding him for stalking us. Over the past few years, I have heard him walking around my house on Christmas Eve. Going downstairs has been a thought, but I just get so scared. But this year, I will see him. You hear me, Santa? I will find out what you really are and give you a piece of my mind. Now I want you to be a good little boy and stay in bed tonight. You understand? No getting up and peeking. Remember, Santa knows when you're awake. Good night, sweetie. He's here. You finally worked up the courage to come see me. I thought your mom told you to stay in bed. Y you are... I don't like you. I'm not like other kids. I think you're creepy and sick. <laughs> you laugh at me? You should have listened to mommy. What? I told you to stay, stay in, in your room. room. Merry Christmas. Christmas, honey. Here you go, honey. This last one is for you. One more for me? We noticed how well you've been doing in school. No way! You got me an iPhone? Thank you so much! You're welcome, honey. You deserve it. Now, it's not particularly brand new. What do you mean? It's used. It was the only way to get you one without breaking the bank. We reset it for you, so everything should be fine. But if there is a problem, let us know. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I really appreciate it. Wow, they finally got you one, huh? I knew they would. They couldn't be that lame. Should I give that boy you have a crush on your number? I know you want me to. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, stop being a pussy. He likes you back. Alright, fine. Awesome, I totally already sent it before I asked. He should call in a few minutes. I'm gonna get off and call my boyfriend. So talk to you later. Toodles! I hate you. <laughs> Bye. Huh? That was fast. Hello? Oh, my phone. Wow.
What? Hello? My phone. You have my phone. Please give me my phone. This is my phone. Did he give it to you? Are you with him? Ma'am, I'm gonna hang up. My name is Zoe Violet. I'm 17 years old and I've been murdered. What the fuck was that? A prank call? Stop calling me! Please. I'm cold. Everything hurts. I need help. He won't hurt me. Oh my god, something weird is going on. Well, we called the number back and no one answered. You sure you heard what you heard, sweetie? Maybe it was a prank call. I know what I heard, Mom. It was almost unreal. Where did you get the phone, anyway? We got it from a local pawn shop. Before we could walk in, there was a guy selling his phone for cheap. He said the shop was going to give him too little for it, so we bought it, and he showed us how to reset it. Police has now found the man that they believe is the murderer of a young girl named Zoe Violet. Zoe Violet is a 17-year-old young schoolgirl who was found dead and poorly buried in the woods late last night. She had been missing for the past three weeks. The suspect is a 24-year-old male named Frank Smith, who apparently had a romantic relationship with the victim, according to the victim's friends. They also told police that he had an explosive attitude and seemed a bit unstable. Oh my god. Are you sure this is a good idea? They really wanted us to come. I didn't want to be rude. They just moved to the neighborhood. But babe, they are a bit weird, don't you think? I don't feel good about this. I know. How about this? We stay for a bit, compliment their house, take a few bites of their food, then leave. Hey, you came! Come on in! Wow. Nice house, really. The design is great. Thank you. Me and my wife have great taste. Not to toot my own horn. <laughs> Please sit. So where is your wife? Oh, she's preparing the last of the meal. How has your Christmas day been so far? Great so far. I got what I wanted and more. Oh, shit. You're pregnant. Yes, we had been trying for a while and finally conceived. Honey, you hear that? What? The neighbors are expecting. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. How far along are they? Uh, how far along are you? Not far. Three months. Three months! Oh, that's tiny. Just so you know, we aren't going to stay very long. We have other houses to hit. Oh. Is that so? That's unfortunate. Will you stay for dinner with us? Yeah, we will have a plate. Great! So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for a living? I work a boring office job. Accountant, actually. And I have a small business screen printing t-shirts. Hmm, an accountant and an artist, huh? Guess we know who the breadwinner is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sirin, where you live, bro? You look ripped. You work out? Yeah, sometimes. You lift? You run treadmill? What do you do? I lift 200. 
and run when I can. Ah, you're strong. What about you, Asia? You work out? Just yoga. Oh, yeah? My wife has wanted to get into yoga. Babe! Sweetie! Yeah? Asia does yoga! Oh, that's great. Maybe she can teach me a thing or two. How long will dinner be? Oh, yeah. Honey, how long will dinner be? Almost done. It's almost done. I heard. Um, what do you and your wife do for a living? My wife is stay-at-home for the moment, but I'm an electrician. Oh, she's a stay-at-home. Do you guys have kids? No, we don't have kids. Every time we've tried, it's resulted in miscarriage. Where is your bathroom? Ah, down the hall, past the stairs, and to the left. All right. I'll be right back, babe. She is amazing. How did you meet her? Well, I worked in the same building as her, and I would see her on my lunch break. She seems very stern, huh? Yeah, she was a bit at first, but once you get to know her, she softens up. I bet. That's how those types are. Tough on the outside, sweet on the inside. What are you expecting, by the way? Boy or girl? It's too soon to know right now. We actually want to keep it a secret till it's born. Uh, I wonder what's taking her so long. Oh, I don't know. She must have found my wife. The kitchen is next to the bathroom. Ah, okay. What's on the list for dinner? I don't know. A bunch of vegetables. We usually have different meat every year. So tell me about the other place you're going to visit. Um, we have her parents' house and my parents' house. <laughs> what was that? I didn't hear anything. Dinner's done! After you? What the fuck? Dinner was delectable, babe. Thank you. Almost better than last year's. Did you do anything different? Hmm, not really. Added a few more spices. Like rosemary and cumin. How cool is it that she was pregnant? I love cooking fetuses. The flesh is so delicate. And I can eat the bones like it's soft shell crab. It makes a great gravy base, too. What are you going to do with the husband? I'm not sure yet. Might save him for New Year's dinner. His meat will be a lot more harder to tenderize. I love you, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> Did I get you? Uh, hello there, Just Nikki here. If you are still here to the video, thank you so much for sticking in this this long. Um, how did you like it? Did you love it? I spent a lot of work on this just to make it good. I know they're just only a few minutes of each story, but trust me, that shit took forever, and it was so stressful. But I love the way it came out, and hopefully you guys did too. Um, thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. This has been an amazing journey um, so far on my channel. Um, I will confess to you guys that when I was going to make the Wicked Whims video, I said this is it. I'm going to stop doing YouTube videos because nobody's watching them. and. Even though I love editing, um, 
I was just kind of wasting my time. And so after that Wicked Wins video, I was like, you know what? If this doesn't get a lot of views, then I'm just going to say fuck it. You know, like I'm completely done. But you guys came along and you changed that for me. You guys gave me hope. You guys gave me some more confidence to keep going. So thank you guys so much for those new subscribers, the future subscribers, and the past subscribers who have been here since day one. I would just like to end this off with saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all of you. I hope you guys get every present you ever asked for or you you wish to have. I hope Santa gave you what you needed and what you wanted. <laughs> and if you're that kid that got bodied in the first story, stay your ass in the bedroom, okay? <laughs> But anyways, guys, have a safe holidays out there. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and a New Year's to you all. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.